Hey guys, welcome to this new video. In the last video I showed you my update effects macro and some of you guys were a little bit confused and didn't really understand how it helps my workflow and how it should help their show. So I'm just gonna go a little bit deeper into what, what the macro does and how I'm using it in my shows. I didn't explain it too well in the last video, so sorry for that, but I hope I get that a little bit better in this video. So yeah, let's just dive into it. Um, as you can see, I have some new fixtures. So I have the mega pointies and I have normal pointies patch. So for instance, if you had a uh, so for instance, if you have mega pointies patched to your startup show file or touring show file, whatever, or you had them in the last menu, the last night. So I'm just going to explain to you how this macro helps with just updating your effects to whatever fixture number you have, whatever fixture type you have. You don't have to update your cues. You don't have to update your sequences. It just works like a preset would work. And I use it as an extension to cloning because cloning is really the key for this thing and my macro just helps to assign your new fixture selection on the effect. So yeah, let's take your mega pointies and we just make a new effect, basic effect doesn't matter. So you can see it's a normal dim chase effect, restore it to an executor, you can also store it to a sequence, doesn't matter. So now if you have a show with pointies instead of mega pointies, you want to get all your show data from your programming into the pointy fixtures from these mega pointies. And that's where you can use the MA tool called cloning. Um, just take the mega pointies on the left side and the pointies on the right side. And now you clone the show data you will select in the next step into these pointies. So we hit prepare. You can choose whatever you want, but in this case, it's important that sequences and effects are enabled to clone. Otherwise, this wouldn't work properly, of course. So we hit clone, low prior merge. And now when, when we start this effect, you can see it's a mess. It's not what we programmed. That's where the macro comes into place. So what the macro basically does is it stores no fixture selection to this effect so if you can press take selection with no active fixture selection and you will see that no fixture is stored to this effect and now the macro takes your group you told the macro to take <laughs> and presses take selection again and now you can see we have the 16 points uh, stored to this effect and if we start the effect now you can see effects running properly as we wanted it to run and yeah you don't have to update any queue sequences or whatever it just works like presets would work so yeah i hope this video was helpful for you to understand what the macro does a little bit better and if it did, leave a like, leave a comment, subscribe to this channel and follow me on Instagram. See ya. Bye.